Good morning everyone and happy uh, day two of the reading rush. I finally finished the Twisted Tales of like the Aladdin story by Liz. Oh my gosh, what's her name? Super sorry, by Liz Braswell. And, and this is the A Whole New World story. What if Aladdin had never found the lamp? First of all, I need to say that this book is a must read for everyone who loves Disney, for everyone who loves Aladdin. I have to admit that it is and it's it was and it's going to be like forever one of my very favorite Disney movies. I also watched the new adaption of it and I liked that as well. Like it was fine, you know. But I love the older like original version so much more. So first of all, I have to say it was very good to read, not a like 5 star book, maybe 4.5, yeah maybe give it like 4 stars on Goodreads. Um, I have to say that the name is super confusing because it says what if Aladdin had never found the lamp but he actually find the la finds the lamp and he just doesn't keep it you know. So I think this is kind of irritating but it's fine like you know. We had to know a lot more about Aladdin's family and a bit more about Jasmine's as well than about Jafar and I really love like the relationship that Aladdin and Jasmine grow into. Oh my gosh, they are like a dream couple. I really love them. I love this story and I finished it um, this morning actually. I got up like at 6.30 something. I actually wanted to get up every day at 8 a.m. but I kind of just like woke up and I couldn't sleep anymore and I really wanted to finish this yesterday actually. So I thought of why not read it now and then continue to the next book. So this was like the very first challenge that I finished. It was like read a book with a purple cover and the next one is actually um, the challenge where you need to read a book out of your bookshelf which has a non human main character. So I picked um, one of the like Twilight books and it's a really, 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 really like thin one which I love during the reading rush you know because I can finish like it so much faster than like a thick book and yeah it's still a book right? So this is like the short second life of a Britannia which was in Eclipse um, and she was basically like the little black -haired girl with, um, I don't know, she was like the only one that turned into a vampire which wasn't like aggressive. And someone killed her, I don't really know where or who did that, but someone killed her. So she really just appeared in the third book and the third movie and I'm super excited to read this. So, we are doing this for the non-human challenge. <laughs> uh, but before I'm going to do that, I may upload like my Goodreads account plus my Reading Rush account. The uh, website was like crushed, I guess, because it went like super slow and I checked like Twitter and everything and everyone said that it, the website is just down. And it's finally working like properly again. So, I will be uploading that as well now. Alright, so I'm at page 87 now and I thought it's time to do some like journal bookish things. So this is my journal I picked um, for <laughs> the reading rush. So here's still like my painting of jacket I put in here. Um, here's like the challenges that I like want to complete and I did the uh, reader book with purple on its cover challenge already so I'm just going to like mark that
guys I'm watching New Moon right now but I got some book mail and I am super excited oh my gosh all right so first I got this one right here which is just like a love story by a German author and she sent it to me to review plus I also got this giant Cassandra Clare book and I don't know why it's not focusing but yeah I got this one this is the third part of one of the series and oh my gosh you guys it's so thick the only problem I do struggle with now is that I only got like the first part and I don't have the second book so I need to pick that up <laughs> and then I can read all of them <laughs> I also wanted to upload you guys on what I've been reading so I finished um, Aladdin this morning as I said earlier then I started like the Brie Tanner short story from Twilight and I finished it. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars because it was just so good, oh my gosh. I really loved her char char blah, sorry, character and I wish that she wouldn't have died during Twilight or like Eclipse, right? And yeah, it was so good, I loved it so much. So it is day two of the reading rush and I finished two books already which is super cool so now I'm watching new one as I said and after I finish that maybe I'm going to watch like a TV show or something then I'm starting with P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han and this is the uh, book I picked for the challenge where you need to read a book that you meant to read last year and I read like to all the boys of love before last year and I really wanted to read the sequel and yeah you know to it so I decided to pick this one now because it's not that thick and yeah I'm super excited about this whole story I also love the movie so much even though it bothers me that it was not really like the book but well we can't change that right the next update is probably going to be tomorrow and then I will tell you if I like finish the book today. I don't think that I'll finish it because I'm watching TV now. <laughs> but I may read a bit of it and finish it like tomorrow. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.